UFOs come in all shapes and sizes. From metallic spheres, to disc-like flying saucers, to triangle-shaped crafts, and even a UAP which looks like a tiny alien in full-body armor. Now imagine seeing something like that in the night sky right in front of you. How would you react? With fear, shock, amazement or plain excitement? We will never know. But today, we will make you experience exactly what UFO witnesses went through, as we do a detailed analysis of the most convincing UFO footages captured till date. Some of these are so hard-hitting, that they will even convert the skeptics into believers. So are you ready to witness the many times that aliens got too close for comfort? Here are five of the most shocking UFO sightings till today. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Number 1, 3 UFOs seen in Texas. This sighting took place on a warm night in September 2018 in Tombow, just north of Houston. A group of friends had gone out to dinner that night and had just returned to their apartment complex, when suddenly they noticed something disturbing in the night sky. Out of nowhere, two stationary bright lights appeared in the sky. And then suddenly, the third one made itself visible, like it was hiding its presence from everyone. Then the two lights moved away from the third one, circling around in formation but eventually coming back to a triangle formation. Then suddenly after some time, the UFOs just disappeared and again reappeared. One of the eyewitnesses was an ex-military from the United States Air Force and he was convinced that what he saw that night was not from this world. He made it very clear that they were definitely not flares nor any aircraft he knows of. These UAPs bear a striking resemblance to the triangle-shaped UFO, recorded from a doorbell camera in Sunrise, Florida in 2023. And this was also not the only time a UFO was spotted in Texas. In April 2022, in a town called Kyle, a strange UFO was captured on camera emanating an orange glow, which has never been seen in other UFO sightings. And as always, local officials had no explanation for the orange UFO. But why are so many sightings happening in and around Texas? Do aliens have a secret base in Texas that we don't know of? Talking about military bases, some UFOs came surprisingly close to U.S. Navy warships. Let's continue watching to find out more. Number 2, UFO seen in South Asia. This video footage of a UAP was taken from a forward-looking infrared camera. Like most of the military captured UAP evidence. The exact time when the footage was taken is still unknown. This incident took place somewhere in South Asia. An MQ-9, which is an unmanned aerial vehicle, was conducting a routine surveillance operation for the United States Air Force. When suddenly, a very suspicious-looking object zoomed right past it. It looked like a circular disc-like craft moving at a relatively high speed in a straight line. This footage was taken by another MQ-9 which was in the vicinity. If we pause the video, we can clearly see that the craft had an oblong shape. This UFO bears a striking resemblance to two other UFOs seen near private and military airspaces. One that was seen over LaGuardia Airport in New York and the Baghdad Phantom that was spotted north of the city of Baghdad in Iraq. The All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office or RO, which is an office set up to investigate unidentified flying objects stated on its official website that, the object likely is a commercial aircraft, 
and that the trailing cavitation is a sensor artifact resultant of video compression. But no aircraft currently known to man resembles the UFO seen that day in South Asia. So is the US Department of Defense purposely covering up an actual UFO sighting? This was also not the first time that the US Air Force came face to face with a UFO in the sky. Number 3, UFO seen by US fighter pilot over the East Coast. The Pentagon has disclosed to lawmakers that it had catalogued 400 reports of UAPs. Out of these, 11 were near misses with aircrafts. US military personnel have also come across UFOs on multiple occasions, and some of these encounters have even been captured on camera. Many of these footages have been declassified and released for public viewing. One such eerie footage was captured in 2021. A Navy pilot was flying his F-18 fighter jet off the East Coast, when suddenly he noticed something strange in his airspace and reported it to the command center. The pilot then decided to remove his cell phone to record what he was seeing as proof, and this was the footage he captured. The UAP was so quick that we have to actually pause the video just to get a glimpse of it. Also the UFO was moving at Mach speeds without any visible means of propulsion. When you look at the still image more closely, it clearly looks like a metallic sphere which very much resembles the other metallic spheres that have been seen in the Middle East and Colombia. Even during the congressional hearing held in May 2022, naval intelligence couldn't give a concrete answer as to what that UAP was. Describe what we're looking at. What are we observing? It's reflective in this video, somewhat reflective, uh, and it quickly passes by uh, the cockpit of the, uh, of the aircraft. The big question that still remains unanswered is why do so many UAP sightings happen near military aircrafts and bases? Are the aliens keeping a close watch on our military technology? Or are they preparing for something more sinister like a full-scale invasion? Number 4, UFOs spotted by the Mexican Air Force. Seeing one UFO is enough to send shivers down the spine of any eyewitness. Now imagine seeing 11 such UFOs, all at the same time, wouldn't you just freeze to death at that very sight? That's exactly what happened to a Mexican fighter pilot in 2004. On March 5, 2004, the Mexican Air Force was carrying out routine surveillance operations for drug traffickers over the state of Campeche, which is located in southeast Mexico. That's when the Mexican fighter pilot came face to face with not one, but 11 bright UFOs. This incident occurred at an astounding altitude of 11,500 feet above sea level. These 11 UFOs appeared out of nowhere and surrounded the military jet, which obviously put the pilot in an extreme state of panic as he thought he was under attack. Luckily, nothing of that nature occurred that fateful day. The Mexican Air Force then sent out more fighter jets to aid their pilot. This then led to a mid-air chase but the UFOs were so fast, that the Mexican fighter jets lost sight of them and they were never seen after that. The fighter pilot even said that the UFOs knew that they were being pursued. But why would 11 UFOs surround a military jet? Such a hostile confrontation has never been documented before, or maybe there is more to the story than meets the eye. Number 5, Spherical UFOs seen by US Navy off the coast of San Diego. This was the first time ever that UFOs were spotted so close to a US Navy destroyer. This video was again released by filmmaker and ufologist Jeremy Corbell. This hostile confrontation took place off the coast of San Diego in July 2019. These UAPs swarmed around multiple Navy warships for hours, thus showing blatant lack of fear for the US Army. 
Jeremy Corbell stated that similar events were reported by eight other Navy ships in the same area over three days. One of those ships, the USS Omaha, encountered as many as 14 of the UFOs all at the same time. For two long hours on the night of July 15, 2019, the crew of the Omaha detected on multiple sensor systems, unknown objects that surrounded the ship. One of the objects, a self-illuminated sphere at least six feet in diameter, flew alongside the Omaha for an extended period, and was observed through a thermal sensor. Then later it just disappeared into the ocean. The Army personnel who witnessed the event believe it was a coordinated interaction. Was this a show of strength by the aliens, or just routine reconnaissance missions to keep track of the activity of the most powerful military in the world? If UFOs and aliens are making themselves visible to armies around the world, does that mean that they are preparing for a global invasion? Or are they just checking our military tech to see if we pose any threat to them? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.